Over the past three years, I've been able to build a social media marketing agency to 200K per month, and it all started with less than $100. Let me share with you how I did it. So let's rewind the clock a little bit and really go back to the exact time I started even thinking of starting a social media marketing agency. I was studying civil engineering at a top university in London, and I literally hated every single second of it. My apparel econ brand that I'd started two years ago with a friend really hadn't gone anywhere. And so I had a bunch of things. I had drive, ambition, hunger, you know, all those things, but I didn't have a lot of things as well. I didn't have money. I didn't have experience. I didn't have any expertise and I wanted to drop out desperately so I could not only take care of myself, but my loved ones and really live a life surfing my edge and tapping into my full potential. So I needed something. I needed a business model that could provide me with good cash flow, was highly profitable, had true longevity, not the type of thing where it was just a, a quick fad, make a bunch of money and have to start all over again next year. And most importantly, a business model that didn't require a lot of capital to start. So I stumbled upon the social media marketing agency model, the SME model about three years ago, and it completely changed my life. And so I finally made the decision and now it was go time. It was time to get up and running. One of the great things about a social media marketing agency is that what you're selling is a service. You're not having to create anything. All you're selling is really what's up in here. And so when it came to getting up and running, all I had to do was pay 15 bucks for a website. I use Webflow. Then I paid 20 bucks for a logo, which honestly I could have done myself, but I paid 20 bucks for a logo. And, and then I paid a bunch more for a Google domain and a G Suite. And that's pretty much it. Everything added up to less than hundred bucks. And so I got right into it. I started reaching out to local businesses. I started with gyms and then I transitioned to e-com businesses and I could make a whole video on this. If you're interested in exactly the technical, tactical, you know, practical uh, things that I did to actually grow my agency, I'm going to be making very in-depth videos on that on my channel. There's a bunch already uh, up on there. So if you want to make sure you catch those, because what I want to do in this video is mainly focus on the startup cost and really what it takes to start a social media marketing agency. I then hired someone for my team, an A player who had the experience and expertise to actually deliver the service. So I could purely focus and pour all my energy into signing clients and actually growing the business. One of the things that was very clear to me from the very get go that I think was a good move was that I understood that I didn't want to take five years to learn the service myself and then sell it. I wanted to sell from the start. And so from the very get go, I understood my position in the whole mechanism, in the whole business model. I was the agency owner. I was the business owner. I wasn't trying to be a freelancer. I wasn't trying to be a Facebook ads expert, which was the service that I was offering to all these businesses. I was trying to be the guy who sold the service, made sure that the clients were well taken care of, created an incredible uh, ecosystem for people to thrive in, attracted incredible A players into the team and really just focus on scaling the business. And I also understood that if I were to do the service myself, even if I was the best of the best in the world at that service, I would be tying up my time into actually delivering the service. And anything that's not actually talking to new prospects and selling more clients into my agency is not something that actually makes money. Delivering the service, although it's an incredibly vital a part of the whole mechanism, because if you don't have an incredible service, your clients are not going to stay for a very long time. It is not a revenue generating activity. And that leads us to the third section, which is scaling the business at pretty much cost zero. So not only was I able to start the agency for less than a hundred bucks, but I was able to scale it at cost zero, which is pretty much unheard of in any other business model. If you're thinking of growing a business, in most cases, you have to pour a lot of capital into, you know, paid advertising, or you have to hire an agency for influencer marketing or whatever you got to do, right? But I was able to grow the the business at cost zero. And the main way that I did this is that I always operated from profits. And so the person that I just told you that I hired for my team, I only paid this person once I actually signed a client. It never came out of my pocket. I never had to invest into a team member before I even had anything up and running, right? Once I signed my first client and really this applied for all clients moving forward. But once I signed my first client, the client paid me at the start of the month. And then I paid my contractor, the person that I, I brought into my team, I paid them at the end of the month. And that cash flow allowed me to reinvest constantly into my agency, into different softwares that could you know, allow me to delegate or automate or completely eliminate the things that I was doing. For example, finding new leads, setting new appointments for my agency. And it also allowed me to pay my contractor every single month using a fraction of what the client had paid me at the start of the month. And so I was a happy man. The contractor was incredibly happy because I was literally handing him over pretty much free clients for him. And he was able to invest all his energy into the one thing that he's truly passionate about, which is the actual service that I was offering at the time, Facebook ads. And it's also incredibly predictable for him because he's not having to think about where his next client is going to come from. And the client is incredibly happy because he's getting an incredible service from an expert who's been in the trenches for eight, 10 years, right? And he's very well taken care of by the agency owner because I've taken the time to build incredible systems that they were really happy with. And that, my friend, leads us to the next and final point, really the conclusion of this video, which is whether you decide to start a social media marketing agency, which 
you know, I'm kind of biased towards, uh, I think it's an incredible business model, but whether you decide to start a social media marketing agency or not, I want to touch briefly on the idea of planning for failure. Let me explain what I mean by this. There's this crazy statistic that I'm sure you've read before that basically says that 90% of businesses fail. Now, I truly believe, because I've experienced it myself, that the main reason for this is not so much that business is incredibly complex and it's only for a select few wizard and geniuses, right? It's simply that most beginner entrepreneurs set themselves up for failure before they've even started. Most just go for the flashy business models from the start. For example, they'll decide to create this genius product uh, and uh, and create an e-com brand. And as I said, the reason why I can speak on this is because I did it myself. The first business that I started was a fashion e-com brand. And one of the main problems with this is that an e-com brand requires quite a lot of capital to start. You need money for ads, product, branding, et cetera, et cetera. And not only that, but not just from a financial perspective, from a competency perspective, you need to master a lot of different business components to truly be successful with it. You need to understand marketing, logistics, branding, product development, customer service, and the list goes on. Or for example, they'll decide to start a tech company or a SaaS company, where oftentimes you need to raise capital. And most of the time it's actually spent on pitching venture capitalists and trying to raise capital instead of actually going to market and making the business successful. Look, I'm not saying don't do this business models, but treat your entrepreneur journey in different phases. It's important that the first business that you pick has a ton of upside and you limit your downside as much as possible. That is why I love the agency model, the SMA model, simply because it takes virtually zero money to start. And so you have very little downside, but you also have huge upside, right? If you don't sign a client, nothing happens because you're not really investing into the business. But if you sign a client, that client could be worth anywhere between four to even 10K per month for you, just one single client. And most of that is profit. With an e-com brand to make those numbers profit, right? You'd have to get to 30, 40, 50 K per month after having invested a bunch of money into the brand already. And so that's my little rant on planning for failure, because I truly believe that if you pick the right vehicle, you're literally halfway there. I know a lot of very smart people that are just in the wrong vehicle and they never get the results. Whereas people who are not as bright, they just put themselves in the right vehicle and a not so bright entrepreneur in the right vehicle is always going to win over the great entrepreneur who's just in the wrong vehicle. So that's that for this video. If you want to catch more free trainings on how to actually grow a social media marketing agency, I'm going live on my free Facebook mastermind pretty much on a daily basis, dropping some insane value bombs that I'm not posting anywhere else. If you want to get access to that, there's going to be a link in the description. You can go ahead, fill out the questions. If you're a good fit, we'll let you in. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in there. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.